Hey guys, so we went to the dollar store today and we picked up some things for some fun Halloween projects that we're going to be making. And we're going to show you what we picked up today. Oh, we, <laughs> we picked up this okay, glass Okay, thank jar. you, honey. We picked up, they have some really cute jars and glass containers and I thought this would be a really cute um, one to make one of our potion jars with and I have an idea of which one we're going to make with this one and it opens up like that. You could close it really easily, you just have to put it on. Awesome, okay. Okay. So we bought that. We bought this pumpkin. We bought a foam pumpkin. And there's so many things that you can do with these little foam pumpkins. So I had to pick up one of these. And that was a dollar. And we picked up this bin. We picked up this really cute Halloween container. They have all different kinds, different colors. And I thought this would be fun to add our candy that we bought and put on our Halloween table. So we bought that and then the lid opens like that. And then we bought some candy corn and we're going to put that inside our container. I thought that'd be really cute. Cute, easy, little, simple um, Halloween decoration. <laughs> and I love candy corn. Okay, and we bought <laughs> we bought some candles. They have really nice candles and they smell really good. This one is the Harvest Spice. So we bought a couple of those. We bought two. And I have some wrought iron candlesticks that I'm going to be putting these on. And then we bought some creepy cloth. We kind of stocked up on some creepy cloth. I use this um, during our haunted yard that we put on. And we use it for a lot of different things. I use it for crafts and some um, decorations and decorating the house outside. I love this stuff and this is where I get it guys. I buy it at the dollar store and it looks like that. Okay, put that to the So side. we kind of stocked up on our creepy cloth because this stuff actually goes really fast. Okay. And then and we then picked we up, some we bought some moss. moss, and we're going to be doing a Halloween display, and I thought this would be really cute to use, so we bought this big bag for a dollar. And then we bought some stretchy creatures. And then we had to have some stretchy spiders for some of our potion jars that we are making. Stretchy spiders, those are fun. And then we bought this door knocker. We bought a door knocker. It's a skeleton. Which is, you know, I think I thought it looked really cute. I mean, so many di different ideas that I have with this guy. I actually bought him at first to use him as a mold. Because I thought that was really cool. Uh, we might do that or put this on our front door maybe in a Halloween wreath. Or it is it's even cute, I thought, maybe for the bathroom and then add a towel hanging from there. So I thought that was a good idea, too. So keep you posted on what I make with that. And now we bought some more candy corn. You gotta have your Halloween candy corn. And then we bought some lollipops. Whether you eat it or these are fun, you could always do a bunch of different um, craft projects with candy corn. So I bought some of that. We bought Tiger Pops. We bought some lollipops because actually I have... Um, a Halloween craft way of displaying my lollipops. So I bought some lollipops for that. We have some more little jars. They're, they're really cool and you could put you could put these on them. But this one is kind of big for this, but there's some tiny ones. <laughs> Thank you. So um, they also have these great labels that we bought at the dollar store and if you open them up there's actually do we have another packet? Um, I think I have another packet in there no. but you can see they, there's a bunch of different ones inside the packet there's trick or treat and they're really cool there's all different sayings, different sizes and you can make them look old or vintagey whatever you know you like and then here's some examples uh, what we're doing with our labels we're adding them to jars and bottles and different colors and for our witch's cabinet that we're putting together. So I think that looks really awesome and I can't wait to start adding my spiders and my 
webbing and all kinds of fun stuff there. So these are really, really cool. Um, to put on jars. You could put on jars on every, yeah, a bunch of different craft projects. So we bought those labels. This to the side. Okay. Yeah, just and then we bought some more mini creatures, some spiders. We bought some more creepy spiders. And you get how many is in here? A hundred of them. A hundred. Get a hundred little mini spiders. And then we would bought Oh, this is a good one. Look at that one. Which is brew. And then and then Keep we bought some nails. <laughs> also at the dollar store, I thought it was really fun because we found these awesome Wicked Nails by Fantasy Makers. So these are the, the Moth to Flame self-adhesive and I thought those are really cool. So we bought some of those fun and nails. And then we bought things. some spider webbing. We bought spider some spider webbing. Spider webbing is really cool because you could stretch it out and it comes with spiders and the spiders. And there's all kinds of things you and could you do can, with like, this, right? Stretch it out and like put it in the inside, outside, add it to your potion jars. I mean, spider webbing, you have to have that for Halloween, so we picked up some of that. And then we bought some 50 wings. These are a lot of fun, and I have another. Um, I actually want to put these in like the girls' hair and like the braids and stuff. I thought these are really cute. You get 50 of them. All different kinds of spiders and bats and stuff. And then we bought some more wicked nails. And then we found some more wicked nails. And these are the cougar attack. Love those. So we bought those. And we bought some more little um, test tubes. Oh, these are and awesome. And they come with little stickers to put on them. Like, because this one is like too big. The trickle tree one is too big on this one, but this is the right size to put on. Yeah. Well, these are great because these are those test tube um, plastic jar, uh, containers, and I've seen these at the craft store and stuff, and they're pretty expensive. And they even come with your own little labels for each of your test tube. And there's a set of six inside, and you get six labels, and then one says trick or treat. Um, what's that? that zombie, one, zombie yeah. virus and then poison. Poison. And those are fun. Those are fun if we're having a Halloween party. I don't know yet exactly what we're going to do with these, but I know it'll be something fun. So I had to pick those up, and those were a dollar. And then this container. Okay, they have some great Box. coffins. And then if you open it up. There's a vampire. There's a vampire inside. So these are fun. I thought that'd be fun for us to alter. And we're going to decorate this one and make it pretty fun and spooky. Um, they have all different kinds. So we picked up that one. And then we got these molds. Okay, these are a lot of fun. We picked up these ice cube molds. This one's out of a skull. Okay, but we're not really using them for ice cubes. We are using them for as a mold, right? And we've already started and we've been making these that one skull, resin skull embellishments. Those are so cool. There's one with this Little. one has what? Little. Gold glitter. Yeah. It's that one. And then here's some candy. Candy corn. And what else is inside there? Um just resin. So we made, made that skull. And then sparkly. And another sparkly skull. If we turn it, you could see more sparkle. So we made those, and I think they're awesome. We're going to make some different colored ones. Um, and I'm going to use them in a hair bows that we're making. I thought these were a lot of fun and really cute. And my daughter's actually making these for me, and I love them. So we picked that up. And then up. you bought some... We bought some bags. Trick we bought some trick-or-treat bags. Trick -or -treat bags. Um, it's that time also where we're trying to figure out the best treat bags for the kids' classrooms. And this one has 40 bags in here and it says trick-or-treat. I thought those were cute, so we picked up those. And I think that is about all. So I hope you guys are having a great night. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.